Hello everyone. Nine days, nine colors. This Navratri, we have taken an initiative to interview nine women entrepreneurs. And in this nine women episode series, we got an opportunity to listen to their motivation, to listen to their story, to listen to their journey, to listen to their challenges as a women entrepreneur. And how these women are making a huge difference in the society by setting up an example that yes, you can do it. So today is the eighth episode. It is the second last episode. Today's color is pink. And today we have Anupama Mishra. So Anupama is one of an example who is not only into the business, who is not only a woman entrepreneur, but they are also supporting specially able, specially challenged people. So she will be sharing, she will be sharing more about it. So let's listen to this podcast. Anupama, let's start. Sure. Thank you. So Anupama, my first it's... question is you have to introduce about yourself, about your business. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for this platform. And I am being honored to uh, be called for this uh, podcast. And I am feeling really great for this, great and excited for this podcast. See, basically in this uh, podcast, I will be representing what exactly is my service, are my services and uh, what day-to-day uh, -day working, day-to-day -day challenges we are facing in our, uh, uh, in our business. Okay. So uh, to start with my introduction, uh, I am uh, an MBA, I'm an MBA graduate. My background is MBA HR. I was a lecturer. And that time, I uh, got the opportunity for uh, the recruitment firm. Like, we can start with the recruitment firm because I was in the HR background. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the during the lecturership time, uh, uh, marriage happened. Then uh, after that, the kids and also we uh, also become, uh, the women also become, uh, it becomes challenging to manage the work-life balance yes. and uh, with the small kid at home uh, that was uh, that was the uh, time when i had to uh, either think for a business or for a job mm -hmm. and that time i decided to quit the job that was a high paying job but still i quit the job and then i started with the business because i wanted to look after the child also that was the priority then so I started with HR recruitment firm first, okay. and that was also going well. We had the recruiters. We were working for various corporates, mm -hmm. and uh, as I said, because of work-life balance, that was a six hours job only. Mm -hmm. We were doing that time at that time, and we were satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, after few uh, few years, few challenges also uh, came across uh, with the businesses mm -hmm. because of uh, maybe job hoppers or slack season in the industry. There were no many jobs in the industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, whatever uh, candidates were selected, the companies were, were paying in three months time. But during that three months time, candidates also were leaving the job. Mm -hmm. So after so many efforts, the uh, gain was not that much. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were again thinking for uh, some other uh, source of income. And then uh, we got this opportunity of uh, logistic business. Mm -hmm. My husband was in the uh, same industry. So through his connections, we got this opportunity. And the opportunity was very lucrative. That is why we named it as Suyog Logistic Solutions. Mm -hmm. So as of now, we are into uh, logistic business. Uh, the brand name is Suyog Logistic Solutions. We are into same day delivery service in Pune and PCMC area. Then domestically, like Pan India, we have by surface, by air deliveries. Mm -hmm. And uh, internationally also, we have the uh, personal documents and parcel delivery services, as well as import and export. Okay. And one more vertical, last year we started with the full truck load and half truck load. Okay. So it can be called as a one-stop solution for all the logistic requirements mm -hmm. from one kg to n number of kgs uh, all over the world. Okay. So, Anupama, uh, my next question is, uh, business start uh, job risk so why business See, that uh, basically, uh, as I said, for work-life balance that time, 
but again being uh, being highly educated i also wanted to uh, start with something on my own kisi ke aaj aise job karke mujhe wo satisfaction nahi mil raha tha jo ek bar pad liya wahi bar bar padhana hai to usme mujhe kuch challenging nahi lag raha tha and mera nature hai something every time i uh, wanted to have some challenges in my uh, work whatever work i do Okay. that is why i started with the uh, this thing entre- entrepreneurship bahut se log hai duniya mein jinki life mein agar kuch problems aate hain ya kuch challenges aate hain to unko wo bog down ho jata hai ya unko wo acha nahi lagta hai lekin kuch ab jaise log hai jinko apne kaam mein challenges chahiye and that is one of the reason why uh, you have been separate out from the bids ka hissa na hote hue aap ek women entrepreneur ka ek jo special category hai उसमें आप हो। I think this is a very commendable thing which you have shared. The challenges पसंद है और उन challenges को overcome करना भी पसंद है. That is the reason you are at this level. Super. Yes, thank you. And again, that's uh, uh, from the industry which was untapped by women mm-hmm. that time because uh, I started in 2013. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's almost uh, 11 years and mm-hmm. I am uh, in the same business. Yeah. Wow, that's a fabulous journey. Almost a decade, and you are so consistently doing the same thing. Super. So, uh, Anupam, moving on to the next question. Uh, as a woman entrepreneur, there might have been some problems, some challenges in your journey. Although you have already shared that you like challenges, but which as a challenges, which as a problems, which being into this woman entrepreneur. कुछ ऐसे चैलेंजेस हैं जो आप शेयर करना चाहोगे या फिर उन चैलेंजेस को आपने कैसे ओवरकम किया यू लाइक टू शेयर समथिंग अबाउट सी बेसिकली व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड विद दिस एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक सबसे पहले तो uh, लोगों का देखने का नजरिया अलग था mm-hmm. जैसे ही कोई भी अगर हमारे ऑफिस uh, uh, में आ रहा है कोई बुकिंग करने के लिए तो आके पहले ऐसे इनिशियली ऐसे होता था आने के बाद अरे कोई लड़का नहीं है क्या तो आई वॉज लाइक यस आई एम हियर Tell me, नहीं वो पार्सल है टेन के जी का फिफ्टीन के जी का कोई है कि नहीं ऑफिस में आई सेट नो नो आई एम हियर आई विल डू दैट यू सिट हियर तो पहले तो सबसे पहले ये एकदम बेसिक वाला चैलेंज होता था और हमारे यहाँ कैसे होता है लॉजिस्टिक्स में हम लोग को डिलीवरीज भी मैनेज करना है पिकअप भी मैनेज करना है जब हमारे कॉर्पोरेट कनेक्शन है तो जैसे भी वॉक इन कस्टमर्स भी आते हैं वैसे ही हम लोग को कॉर्पोरेट भी डीलिंग करना पड़ता है तो उस टाइम बहुत बार होता था अगर लड़का अवेलेबल नहीं है या दो दो में से तीन में से एक लड़का छुट्टी पे है तो कौन अवेलेबल है उसको जाना पड़ता था पिकअप्स के लिए बिकॉज दे वेर डेली पिकअप्स और वो उसी दिन के लिए होना ही होना है तो जब मैं जाती थी कॉर्पोरेट्स में कि नहीं आज लड़का नहीं है या वो दूसरे रूट पे इसलिए मैं आ गई तो एवरीबडी लाइक उनका देखने का नजरिया पहले चेंज होता था कभी कभी तो ऐसे होता था मतलब मेरा बेटा छोटा ही था मेरे साथ जो हमेशा ऑफिस में ही रहता था तो ओ, दो साल का था उसको लेके मैं पिकअप्स के लिए जाती थी उसको लेके फिर मैं कनेक्शंस के लिए जाती थी तो वो नजरिया थोड़ा सा लोगों का चेंज था पहले पहले इनिशियली बट आफ्टर सम डेज दे ऑल्सो आर यूज टू सींग कि हाँ एक वीमेन भी आती है वो भी पार्सल्स लेके आती है वो भी पार्सल देती है कनेक्शन करती है तो ये था पहले का चैलेंजेस फिर हमारे इंडस्ट्री में देखा जाए तो चैलेंजेस बोला तो ऐसे अगर हम लोग दस साल से हैं बारह साल से भी है तो हमारे पास ट्रेन स्टाफ होता है बट इन द सीजन टाइम बिग कंपनीज बिग कॉर्पोरेट्स दे आल्सो लुकिंग फॉर द एक्सपीरियंस बाइकर्स एंड ऑल डिलीवरी पर्सन पिकअप पर्सन तो हमारे इंडस्ट्री का ये हो जाता है कि हमने ट्रेन किया हुआ बंदा साल भर उसको रखो और बिग कॉर्पोरेट सीजन टाइम में लेके जाते हैं उनको ज्यादा सैलरी दे तो ये सबसे बड़ा अभी बिगेस्ट चैलेंज हमारे साथ है ओके इंडस्ट्री में ओके सो इट्स रियली ग्रेट टू नो दैट यू आर फ्रीली शेयरिंग योर चैलेंजेस एंड यू हैव आल्सो ओवरकम दो चैलेंजेस एंड आई एम श्योर के आने वाले समय में यू विल बी डेफिनेटली यू नो ओवरकमिंग ऑल द चैलेंजेस और जो भी आपके बड़े सपने हैं वो जरूर पूरे होंगे बिकॉज जो जज्बा है आपका कुछ कर दिखाने का और जो चैलेंजेस को एक्सेप्ट करने की जो तैयारी है ये बहुत कम लोगों की सो आई एम रियली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सी दैट सक्सेस हैपनिंग एंड डेफिनेटली इट विल हैपन फॉर श्योर सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द कंक्लूडिंग पार्ट ऑफ टुडेस एपिसोड लास्ट टू क्वेश्चंस 
So my next question is, uh, what do you think, uh, what is the role of a mentor or any coach in the success journey or in the entrepreneurial journey? Definitely, whenever you have any mentor with you, a guru uh, with you, so you have a path clear what exactly are your dreams, what are your vision, what are your missions, and whether you are uh, heading towards that mission to accomplish. So, this guru always gives us guidelines and tells us how to go, what to do, 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 but how you can overcome that challenges. So, if you have a little child who is going to go, you don't have to go to practice, you have to go to your mother, you have to go to your hand, you have to go to your hand. The guru teaches us how to go to success, he teaches us how to go to our entrepreneurship journey. Wow, that's very good. So, Anupama Ji, when you have shared some conversation with us, you have shared that in your ecosystem, there are some people who are physically disabled or we call it specially challenged people. So, could you share something more about that? Yes. In our same-day delivery service, mostly what happens, we require many bikers every time. In the season time, we require them most. क्योंकि ऑर्डर्स भी बहुत ज़्यादा होते हैं और डेलीवरीज भी मतलब सेम डे वाला सर्विस है तो सेम डे में ही डेलीवर करना है ओके तो आजा सर कि दैट इज़ अ चैलेंज कि बिग कॉर्पोरेट्स हमारे जो एक्सपीरियंस कैंडिडेट्स हैं वो लेके जाते हैं बट वी आर वेरी फॉर्च्यूनेट एंड वी आर वेरी लकी कि हमारे साथ हमारे सेम डे डिलीवरी सर्विस में फिजिकली एबल्ड पर्सनस भी है वीमेन भी है दे आर बाइकर्स दे आर डिलीवरी पर्सनस and they are continuing their journey with us for last three, four years. So we are very happy with them because we have also uh, shared that ecosystem with them. We have given the comfort to them. Mm -hmm. And our customers also know that they, they are hiring these people because uh, they are like, they wanted to do something, but they in the uh, other industries, they cannot work like this. Mm -hmm. That is why they are associated with us. Mm -hmm. So most of the time we try to do that for physically able person, he will handle the office work only, but mm -hmm. when and as and when required, he goes in the field also. Okay. And that is very uh, commendable of his courage. We are happy with him. Super. Mm -hmm. So as I always say, uh, being an entrepreneur, you also uh, do a lot of social work. Indirectly, आपकी कंट्री के जीडीपी में कंट्रीब्यूट करते हैं, but people like you, जब आप ऐसी कुछ चीजें करते हो, इससे और भी ये प्रूफ होता है कि ऑन्टरप्रेन्योरशिप इज़ नॉट जस्ट अबाउट बिज़नेस मेकिंग मनी, but कहीं ना कहीं डायरेक्टली इंडायरेक्टली यू आर क्रिएटिंग जॉब्स, यू आर क्रिएटिंग होप्स, यू आर सॉल्विंग कस्टमर्स प्रॉब्लम, and people like you are also giving opportunities for the people who are physically challenged or something like that. So ये अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा Example है कि उन लोगों के लिए जिनको लगता है entrepreneurship is just about you know making money no it's not like that I think there are leaders like you who have you know the great thought process vision है और ये सोच है इस वजह से ही आप इस level तक पहुँचे हो और I'm sure कि आगे भी बहुत लंबा सफर आपको तय करना है so really great to know all this story from yours so to conclude बहुत सारे yeah actually I also feel the same sorry I also feel the same when we are getting something from the society, we should be giving it back, back in some of the other ways. Mm -hmm. And that is why we thought of the things that as we have a person who says, I can do this work, deliveries and pickups are not a, uh, this thing, easy jobs. Mm -hmm. But still, they are willing to do and we created that opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. So we are very happy and they are also happy to us associate with us. So okay. it's something we are giving the gratitude to the society. Wow, wow, super. So Anupama Ji, this last question, hai, although the interaction with you, I feel like there, there should be more time, but then uh, unfortunately, a last question will through to conclude karna padega. And then we will again connect, we will have more uh, you know, conversations where I will get into the depth side of your business and you know your vision. So, last question is that many women entrepreneurs have not become a woman. They are into the category of aspiring entrepreneurs, aspiring women entrepreneurs. So, for them, do you want to suggest any advice or something that they want to come to the new business, especially the women or the girls? Yes. Yes, I think that the advice is that 
I would like to suggest कि ऐसा कोई भी फील्ड नहीं है कि ये मैं वीमेन एज बींग वीमेन वी के नॉट अचीव वी के नॉट गो इन टू दैट फील्ड कोई भी फील्ड नहीं है यू हैव टू एंटर इट इफ यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट अपॉन योर सेल्फ देन यू हैव टू एंटर इन द फील्ड डेफिनेटली योर एजुकेशन योर थिंकिंग एंड योर योर एबिलिटीज विल डेफिनेटली लीड यू टू द सक्सेस बट the only thing is you have to be honest and ethical in whatever business you are doing that would be that should be and must be your motto whenever you are doing the business any kind of business superb superb so arubha it was really great interacting with you bahut acha laga bahut kuch naya seekhne mila and especially wo wali jo aapne cheez share ki regarding uh, the specially challenged people वो चीज कहीं ना कहीं मुझे बहुत टच कर गई है श्योर कि जितने भी व्यूवर्स इसको सुन रहे हैं उनको भी काफी इंस्पिरेशन मिलेगा तो बहुत बढ़िया ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर फ्यूचर एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू